Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. MathBog, and this lesson is scientific notation. And today we're doing uh, only positive powers of 10. Tomorrow will be negative powers of 10. So today are the big, big, big numbers, and tomorrow are the very, very, very small numbers, like 0. 0.00000 something, okay? All right, so there's our, our comma core strand for our awesome teachers. And then our question here is, how can we use scientific notation to express very large quantities? Okay, so here's scientific notation. Now your book chooses to do it a little bit differently. This is the way I've always taught it and I'm most comfortable with it right here. So so scientific notation is some number times 10 to a power. Now this power is an integer. It's a positive integer when it's a large number. That's today's lesson. It's a negative integer when it's tomorrow's lesson. Um, a very, very small number, okay? So A, you guys, A is any number that's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. It can't be greater than 10 because um, we're going 10 to a power. So A is some number between 1 and 10, including 1. And N is any integer. It could be 0 also. I'll show you an example of that later. So today we're only using positive integers and tomorrow is negative integers. Okay, so N is our number that we're talking about. Okay, so scientific notation is useful when dealing with very large number today or very small numbers, which is tomorrow. It's the same thing. It just depends on which way we go with the with the um, the decimal point. Okay. So the weights of various sea creatures are shown in this table right here. Write the weight of the blue whale in scientific notation. Okay. So so here's the blue whale, 250,000 pounds right there. Okay. So let's go back to scientific notation. So so we we want that 250. We want that number to be greater than or equal to 1 and then less than 10 okay it has to be less than 10 okay so we're gonna move the decimal point in 250,000 to the left as many places as necessary to find the number that's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 the number of times becomes how many times we move it over becomes our exponent for 10 okay so if there's no decimal shown right here it's understood to be right there okay so we gotta move it this way so I'm gonna move it to right there to make it 2.5 that'll be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 how many times do we have to move it to the left and that's gonna be our exponent for the 10 so here's 1 2 3 4 5 okay so there's the decimal 2.5 is gonna be 2.5 times 10 to the fifth because we moved it to the left five times that's our answer all right so let's do the same for the whale shark okay all right so it's gonna be right there now we're gonna move it again we're gonna move it right there we can move it right there but 41.2 is greater than 10 it has to be less than 10 or greater than or equal to 1 so we're gonna move it right there and make it 4.12 so how many times do we go to the left we go 1 2 3 4 so it's gonna be 4.12 times 10 to the fourth okay because we moved it to the left four times okay so how many places to the left did we did decimal point uh, 41,200 go well we just did that that's four and what's the exponent of 10 when we wrote that in scientific notation well that's also four right there duh I don't know what this sometimes books are kind of goofy so anyways this book doesn't make as many mistakes as my integrated math books do they make several mistakes and so it's frustrating for us teachers because you spend several minutes several minutes sometimes up to 20 30 minutes trying to figure out if you made a mistake or the book made a mistake but but so far I haven't I haven't really found uh, mistakes in, in your uh, go math book so so that's that's good so um, uh, writing a number in scientific notation so to translate between standard notation and scientific notation we just count the number of decimal places that are moved okay so here we go let's go ahead and get started so the distance from earth to the sun is about 93 million miles and we're gonna write that in scientific notation so we're gonna move that decimal right there okay to make it 9.3 okay times 10 to the how many times we moved it to the left okay so here we go one two three four five six seven so seven so nine point three times ten to the seventh miles that's how many uh, miles our, our planet is to the Sun and our, it's a trip how um, uh, we are perfectly placed uh, to uh, be to have life uh, talk to your science teachers about that but it's 
pretty fascinating that um, um, uh, all the other planets they're either too hot or too cold to sustain any kind of life and, and here we are anyway sorry so um, uh, write each number in scientific notation okay so here we're gonna do this right here so the decimal if it's not given it's always right there so one two three so it's going to be 6.4 times 10 to the third there's one two three 6.4 times 10 to the third now i'm not going to click 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 let's just count them so here we're going to move it how many places let's just count all those now this that's how you show your work to your teacher okay so don't just count them in your head don't say i did it in my head because your teachers um uh if it's me I'll, I'll just do your grade in my head and that's what i tell my students so you do your work in your head i can't understand it so you're never going to understand how come you're getting zeros on your test because I because I did your grade in my head all right so that's how you show your work on this lesson is just to do arrows I know it's frustrating you guys but come on you can do this okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's five point seven times ten to the eleventh okay all right so this one here a light year is the distance that light travels in a year and is equivalent to Ooh, let's see I don't even know what this is so I know that this is millions right here so this is trillions right here so what's this quadrillion so nine quadrillions 461 trillion um, uh, kilometers uh, uh, away so we're gonna write that in scientific notation so we're just gonna move that decimal here's three here's six here's nine Here's 12, so 9.461, remember it has to be uh, greater than 1 and less than or equal to 10. It could be, I'm sorry, less than 10, but greater than or equal to 1. So there it is right there. So, whoops, I went too fast, too many clicks. So 9.461 times times 10 to the 12th okay whoops too many clicking right there all right so when we um, uh, to translate between scientific notation and standard notation we just move the decimal point uh, the number of places indicated by the exponent to the power of 10 uh, with the power of 10 so when the exponent is positive which is all about today's lesson when it's in scientific notation then we just move it to the right to put it in standard notation and for the extra spaces we add zeros for placeholders right there okay and then when the exponent is negative which is the next lesson uh, we're going to move that decimal point to the left adding placeholders for zeros um, uh, in the empty spaces all right so here so notice that six is positive so we're going to move it to the right okay so write this in standard form so here we're going to um, uh, move the decimal point six places to the right adding zeros in the empties the empty spots okay so there it is so one two three four five six then we got to add the zeros and so let's put the commas in in between the three digits right there okay so we get three million five hundred thousand okay all right so let's just slide that up and answer a couple of their reflect questions so explain why the exponent in 3.5 is uh is six right there while there are only five zeros right there well because the decimal was in between the 3.5 in the tenth spot that five was in the tenth spot so we still had to move it the decimal moves six places to the right but one of those places was that five tenths in 3.5 so only five placeholder zeros were needed so what's the exponent of 10 so I talked about this in the very beginning when you write 5.3 in scientific notation okay well 5.3 this number is already between 1 and 10 5.3 is greater than or equal to 1 and it's less than 10 so we don't have to move the decimal place any places so zero places so the the 5.3 is already greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 so it moves uh, zero places whoops there should be a, a c in there c of zero places a c golly i make lots of mistakes does your math teacher make lots of mistakes does any of your teachers make lots of mistakes you can hear me i'm sitting out we're still um uh sort of camping in Santa Rosa right now so um, uh, I'm sitting out in my trailer right now and you hear some traffic going by and stuff so that's all that is so it's uh, right before school starts for me and uh, I'm just making these lessons while nobody's here because I don't like talking into this computer when nobody's here so or when somebody's here so I wait for everybody's gone anyway so my good-looking wife and my my sister-in-law are out getting us uh, some dinner and then here I am 
making this groovy lesson. All right, here we go. So let's uh, wrap this up and write these in, in standard form. Okay, so here, I'm going to move it nine places to the right. So this is going to be three, and we're going to do six more. So there's going to be six extra zeros. I'm going to let you guys do that, okay? And then this one's going to be five. So we're going to go, here's two, so we're going to go three more. So we're going to add three zeros. So it's going to be that right there. So the mass of a roosting colony of monarch butterflies in Mexico, the mass is weight, uh, was estimated to be at five times uh, 10 to the 6 grams. Okay, so it's 5.0. So we're just going to add six zeros because we're going to move it six places that way. Okay, so how many, I'll write this mass in standard no, uh, notation or in standard form, you guys. So standard form is the regular number. So 5 million grams is what those those monarchs make. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and, and take care.